Oh, hey there. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about assigning cable numbers in Wirecad. In its most basic form, we can assign a cable number in Wirecad just by double clicking a cable where both ends of the cable have sys names. Now, whether or not we want to be involved in the cable number assignment is based on this verbose cable assignment checkbox right here. With this unchecked, no dialog will be presented and the cable will be given all the defaults and added to the database immediately. To assign a cable, we just double click on it. Wirecad pulls the data out of the drawing, populates the form with it, and presents it for us to edit. Here we can adjust the cable type and manufacturer the signal type and a bunch of user fields and so on. Once we're happy with it, it's like any other assignment where we click OK, Wirecat updates the drawing and updates the project cables database. There's my FC1004 that just came into the database from my double click. So all of this information was just added into the database. I didn't have to do any typing other than my original equipment definition and my sysname assignments. Okay, so the number FC1004, let's understand where that came from. To do that, we have to open the project cable number format tool and look at the variables that are involved in our cable number format. The first element is the signal type prefix. Now this isn't the signal type, this is actually the prefix field as defined in the signal types database. Let's go look at that real quick. I'll cancel this and I'll open my signal types database. In the signal types database, I'll look up the base signal type and then go get its cable number prefix. Okay, so that's where that element comes from. This is also where we pull the default cable type manufacturer and part number to pre-populate the dialog with. Okay, so back to our format tool now that we understand that. And very similar to the tutorial on the sysname assignment, we have different variables that we can we can work into the cable number format field. Here we'll use the, the signal type prefix, then a string literal. This dash is that dash right there. Then the numeric sequence which sequences on the signal type prefix and again formatted so it displays only digits. Then we have a string literal which is the dash right there followed by multi-core data if we're doing a multi-core cable number assignment. Okay, so that's a look at the formatting. That's how the number is going to come together. Where did the number FC1004 come from? Well, to know that, we have to go to the next numbers table. Herein, we'll see a list of sequence keys within their contexts. So there's my FC key, the next number there being 1005, in the context of assigning cable numbers. Again, if I want to assign different sequences to different numbers, you're welcome to do so. We're always going to start numbering cable sequences based on a setting that's in our project settings dialog here under basic our starting cable number will always be 1001 or whatever variable you put in here. Anytime we see a new sequence, we'll start numbering from there. If you'd like to hop the sequence out of sequence from there, once it appears in this list, you're welcome to. If you want to preempt that and create your sequence keys manually, simply click New, enter the sequence key, the starting number, and the context. Let's see what happens when we delete a cable. Here I'll select the cable and I'll click the delete key. Wirecad will raise the big blue hand and say, hey, you're deleting an item out of the drawing that also has a database reference as well. Would you like us to delete the database reference at this time? If you click yes, then by default, Wirecad will mark FC1004 as deleted and available. So if we come in here and look at FC1004 and refresh our data here, we see that FC1004 has been deleted and its available field is marked as true. 
This is called a soft delete. By default, Wirecad soft deletes all cables and all sysnames. If you'd like to override that behavior and have them hard deleted, that is an advanced setting for the project in your settings dialog called hard delete cables and sysnames. Let's take a look at what happens when we assign the same port to multiple ports. This is usually done in error. So let's see how Wirecad behaves if we happen to do this. Here I've duplicated the sysname LC1 and LC1 and server1 and server1 here. Let's say that, that as a thought experiment that these duplications reside on two different pieces of paper. I'll do them here so that we can visualize them this way. But this is a common mistake that's made in projects that have systems split across multiple pages. Here I'll select this number 8 port and I will connect it to the AES 1-2 port. And on this other unit, I will select the 8 port and connect it to the HDSDI port. I'll assign this cable, and I will expect nothing to happen. Uh, it should be a regular, normal assignment and should proceed no problem. And it does. Upon assigning this cable, Wirecad should raise its hand at us and tell us that the port that we are trying to attach to, LC1's port 8 has already been assigned and in the database connected to something else. So here we'll see that in action. So here we see the source port, the output you're trying to assign, already exists in the database. This could be legitimate like a Y connector or it could be in error. In any event it warrants scrutiny. Now this is the part of the program that is catching errors that usually make it into the field. Pay attention to this dialog because it's trying to catch an error that could be potentially costly in the field. If everything is in fact correct and this is a Y cable then you still have a choice as to how it is that you wish to number that Y cable. But if you see this pop up and you don't understand why Go look at the cable numbers involved and see if you can't figure out why it is that, that we think you're attaching two wires to the same port. One of the questions that's asked very frequently is, do I have to double click every single cable in order to assign a bunch of cables? And the answer is no. To demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and place two cables in the drawing. One of the questions we get asked most frequently is whether or not you have to double click every single cable to assign it. The answer to that is no. If you create a selection set of cables, as I've done here, and use the menu command, advanced tools, assign cable numbers, again this switch determines whether or not you'll see the edit dialog on every assignment. When doing a multiple assignment like this, I'm probably going to turn off the edit dialog and accept the defaults. Then I simply select the Assign Cable Number switch and Wirecad will work its way through my selection set and assign cable numbers. Now, again, selection sets here are built in the order that the items are added to the drawing. So if you're unsure, then do a click select in the order that you'd like those things assigned. Okay, so those are the basics of cable number assignment. There'll be some more advanced topics we'll post on multi-relational cables and multi-core cables and things like that. But that'll get us started for now. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Hopefully it helped you understand these things a little bit better. Remember, you can download Wirecad from Wirecad.com and give it a spin. If you get stuck, give us a call or send us an email. We are here to help you with your design endeavor. Thanks for watching.